What's up, everybody? Thank you for coming to another detailing video. Once again, I got the homie Luis. How you doing today, Luis? Doing good, Reyes. How are you? I'm doing all right. Now, in this video, you're going to see his van setup. Luis, what you rocking with? What type of car do you have? So right now I'm rocking in a mini caravan, Dodge caravan. Um, and, and you make everything fit? Everything fits, Reyes, yeah. Gee, how long have you had it? Uh, six months, I would say. Six months. So there you go, just to show you, hey, hey, and this wasn't the first detailing car you had, huh? No, actually, uh, I started off in a 2016 Nissan Sentra. How'd you, you make, <laughs> how'd you make it? Did you have a generator and a tractor and all that? I didn't have a generator, I just had a presser washer. Yeah. And uh, basically, I just pulled up to the customer's house and asked for electricity. What? Hey, was there ever a deal breaker? Not, never, honestly, unless they lived in an apartment. Did you have you ever tried detailing in apartments? Uh, oh, nah, with this man, yes, yeah, okay, with the other one, no, nah, because you just knew you couldn't, yeah, basically, because you can't use their water, so got it, got <laughs> it. Well, in this video, you're gonna see how he makes everything fit. You ready, bro? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go, All right, Luis. So, first thing I want to know, man. Where'd you get this beautiful bad boy right here, the van? So I actually uh, detailed this van for my neighbor not too long ago, maybe like a year or so ago. And uh, they were moving and they just sold it to us for pretty cheap. So, oh, really? Yeah. Nice. So what's the first piece of equipment you have over here? So the first equipment right here is my generator, the Predator. Um, it has uh, 4,375 4, watts. Mm. Hey bro, it's looking kind of new over here. Yeah, I got it uh, maybe like four or five months ago. Okay, all right. So, I see you got a water tank in there, a tent. You don't really carry the tent with you. No, I don't carry the tent. It's just in case it rained today. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had to detail in the rain yet? Not yet. Nice. I mean, it, it started sprinkling, but I mean, it wasn't too bad. It stopped right after. Got it. And then I see your, your newest, no, it's not the, the extractor. How yeah. long have you had the extractor? I actually just bought it, Reyes. Like yesterday or what? Uh, last week. Yeah, I just got <laughs> it last week, yeah. Dang, how much did it run you? Uh, about like $1,200. But you were saying game changer? Game changer. It's worth the investment, for sure. All right, man. So this is the side. What do you got over here in the back? All right, so we come to the back. Ooh. Hey, where'd you get this set up? So um, uh, me and my dad actually made it. Um, I went down to the local, like, uh, I forgot what, like the local harbor store. Yeah. And they had a, a stainless steel plate and we just threw it in there. And then my dad used to weld. So he kind of just helped me uh, do the little stand on the back. Yeah, he got down, bro. <laughs> That's what's up. So you have your bottles over here. My pump sprayers and then, um, all my uh, chemicals and stuff, my wheel bucket, all my hoses are in here, my vacuum, and then uh, pressure washer over there as well. Oh, okay. Steamer. Oh, let me see. Let me see a pressure washer. All right. Pressure washer's right there. The blue one? Steamer, yeah. Yeah, I got you. Oh, hey, man, you're making it fit. So, what's one of the biggest struggles with this kind of setup? I would say right now is taking everything down because my generator doesn't fit so i have to take it out and i don't want all the stuff all the chemicals and stuff going in the in the van what do you mean it doesn't fit like because i know everyone has a rack to pull it out oh so yeah. it could breathe this one i have to take it all the way out the, out the van or else what the smoke is going to be in there yeah you, that, you, you start driving feeling possibly little... die in, in there or something <laughs> <laughs> dang now is this the final setup or do you want to do more stuff to it? I actually want to get a different minivan. Um, like the cargo vans and all that? The cargo van. Yeah. Because um, I plan on moving. So yeah. uh, I don't where, think this, this van will make it over the yeah. over the Altamont. <laughs> where are you going? Uh, I want to go to San Diego. You Like to live over there? Yeah, to live over there. What? I want to take my business too. So. Well, what makes you want to do this? Just because I live in Stockton and I kind of want to explore the world and just yeah. get out of my comfort zone, you know? I got you, man. I got yeah. you. That's cool, bro. So, have you looked into a uh, van, a cargo van? Yeah. Right. Currently, I'm at the moment, I'm just saving. Um, How much does it run? Right now, cars are expensive, man. So, around like 
I would say eight to ten thousand dollars for anything good. Dang. Yeah. That's a lot, bro. And that's just not that's not including the setup and, yeah. and trying to get everything right. So, when you start detailing, do you take out everything? Like the hose, the pressure washer, the steamer, only what you need at that time. So I actually, uh, I actually have this bag right here. Um, it's from uh, Meguiar's. Yep, yep. Uh -huh. I kind of just put all my interior stuff in here. Any, uh, my when I do wash and wax packages, my air fresheners, I basically just throw everything in here. And then the equipment, obviously the machines, yes, I do have to pull out, but yeah. I'm not going back and forth. All right, guys, so there you have it. A homie Luis over here making it work with what he got. Let me ask you something, Luis. You What's started with a little sedan. You have a van now. You want to work up to a cargo van. How do you feel about your process? Like you started slow, then this, and then the next go? Or do you think you should have waited till you had a van? Um, I kind of like it just, yeah. be just because I'm able to say, like, no matter what condition you're in, you could uh, you could start your own business. Yes. So mm -hmm. you have no excuses for that that part. But now, Luis, let's say there's somebody out there who wants to follow your journey. Where can they go? Where can they follow you at? I'm actually starting a YouTube channel soon. Um, Phone Bat 209 as well. It's, it's already made. It's just I haven't posted anything. And then uh, most of my work is on Phone Bat 209 on Instagram. There you go. Go show them some love on YouTube on Instagram, I'll put it in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, you wanna see more detailing content, more detailing entrepreneurs, press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everybody.